we are working with quadrilaterals. So here are the quadrilateral properties. We have quadrilaterals, our basic shape. We have trapezoid, parallelogram, kite, rectangle, rhombus, and square. Let's just start at the top with quadrilateral. We're going to construct it. And the quadrilateral has four sides, and the interior angles add up to 360. So to make quadrilateral, just draw four sides. So we get our GeoGebra out, our segment tool, side one, side two. Any four-sided enclosed figure is a quadrilateral. Nothing special about it. We did say that the angles add up to 360, so let's measure these angles. So we measure this angle, angle B. There's a number, angle C. That says 81 point something. Angle D, 51 point something. And angle A, 122. Uh, let's blow those up a little bit. Oh, okay. Um, well, let's see what they actually add up to. So come down the input line. Z equals, you can come over here to the right where we can click the alpha, beta, gamma. Alpha plus beta plus gamma plus. Even if you don't know the names, the symbols are right here. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta. And hit enter, and it says Z equals 360. Well, as always, move a dot, prove it. So we move a dot. All the angles are changing. All the sizes of our sides, if we look over here, A, B, C, and D, those are all changing. But the 360 never changes. So all quadrilaterals always add up to 360 on the interior angles, no matter what kind of quadrilateral we have. And it's just a four-sided figure. Now, when we start making special things happen, make things parallel, make things congruent, we get other names for things. That is what's coming up next.